Chapter 31 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Hurry up and evolve translator Endless Fantasy Translation Editor Endless Fantasy Translation, you piece of trash You actually dare to treat me like this Li Yuan's anger suddenly went to his head The humiliation from a few days ago channeled into a tightly clenched fist that Li Yuan savagely swung at Shen Fei Stop Shen Fei coldly clenched the other party's fist and mocked, Have you already forgotten how badly I beat you yesterday? You. The veins on Li Yuan's head were bulging. What more is there to say? You were defeated, now move aside. Shen Fei pushed him away impatiently. Seeing Shen Fei's strength, Li Yuan's arrogance was half dot diminished. He originally wanted to hire a few mercenaries to accompany him today. But Li Mingzhu suddenly called all those mercenaries away. Just you wait. Shen Fei. Next time, let's see how they deal with you. We'll talk about it if there is next time. I think your Li family won't be staying arrogant for long. Shen Fei looked at the Li Yuan with contempt and turned away. As soon as he got home, Shen Fei quickly locked the door. It was a really close call today. Shen Fei sat on the chair and his body finally relaxed. Once more, he thought about Qian Yu's timely rescue. If it had not been for him, Shen Fei would have really met his end today. Li Yuan's assassination attempt would just be the beginning. After this, Zhang Yuqing's men would probably come after him as well. There were also several other families in the city who would want to assassinate him for their own interests. Shen Fei fidgeted worriedly with his hands. His current strength was far from enough to compete with the mercenaries in hired by the Li family. He had to improve his strength very quickly. Flame Owl, 3. Clawed Golden Dragon. Shen Fei extended his hand and summoned his two spirit beasts. Hoot. The Flame Owl tilted its head as if it had noticed that something was not right with Shen Fei's mood, and took the initiative to rub against him. The three-dot-clawed golden dragon also coiled around Shen Fei's side, waiting meekly. Shen Fei stretched out his hand and gently placed it on the flame owl's body. This time, his talent did not give him any prompts. As expected. Shen Fei frowned and placed his hand on the three-dot-clawed golden dragon. No prompts appeared either. After a spirit beast reached the marquee rank, the cooldown period for evolutions would be greatly extended. He would try again in a few days. Shen Fei anxiously tapped on the table. But time waited for no one. Since he could not increase the ranks of his spirit beasts, he could only focus on the other aspects. For example, the skill level of the spirit beasts. Generally speaking, a spirit beast's initial skill level would be at level 5, and as the skill's proficiency continued to increase, it could gradually be strengthened to level 100. On the other hand, the Flame Owl and the Three Dot Clawed Golden Dragon skills were both at level 10. He still had a lot of room for improvement. Shen Fei placed his hand on the two spirit beasts. In a short while, their skill levels were raised to level 15. Skill leveling has entered the cooldown period. Please try again in two days. Only when the system notification popped up did Shen Fei retract his hand in satisfaction. Once a skill level reached level 30, it would undergo a skill mutation. The Beast Master may choose to let the Spirit Beast continue to use its original skill, or they could also transform the original skill into a stronger and more useful skill. However, the skill level would reset to zero. Shen Fei looked anxiously at his two spirit beasts. Their skills were not bad. It was just a pity that there were too few skill types. In the later stages, he would have to spend a lot of money to go to a professional trainer to learn new skills. The flame owl was fine, but the three-dot-clawed golden dragon was a bit of a problem. There were only a handful of dragon-dot-type spirit beasts in human history. He did not know if there were any new moves for his dragon to learn. Some spirit beasts would learn new skills on their own as they gradually gain more battle experience. However, if he wanted to learn other skills, 
he could only go to the beast master with the same type of spirit beast and pay a fee to learn them. Shen Fei glanced at his empty wallet. Dot let's revisit this some other time. Too bad the SSS dot class talent can't be upgraded anymore. Suddenly, a flash of inspiration came to Shen Fei's mind. Since he already had a second spirit beast, should he try to awaken a second talent? In Shen Fei's memories of this world, the number of beast masters who had a second talent could be counted on one hand. But there was a reason for this. Firstly, in order to successfully awaken the second talent, the grade of the first talent must not be lower than S. Class. Most people would not even be able to qualify for this option. Secondly, the awakening of the second talent required a huge ceremony. The ritual crystals and herbs required for this were also quite expensive. The awakening of the first talent was free because it was innate. But the second talent would cost at least 1 million yuan. If it was in the past when the Shen family was strong and prosperous, Shen Fei would be able to afford this amount even with his eyes closed. But now, that was just wishful thinking. I don't have any money. Shen Fei frowned with woe. I heard that the first place prize in the state assessment and the final examination was a generous cash prize. The state assessment reward is 100,000 yuan, and the final examination reward is 400,000 yuan. If I could get my hands on them both, I'd be halfway to awakening my second talent. But none of these were realistic goals. The most important thing now was to improve his own cultivation. Every beast master would be divided into six different tiers after their innate talent was awakened. Rookie, novice, apprentice, master, emperor, and supreme. Beast master's tiers could only be raised with cultivation. Shen Fei's current tier was at the lowest rookie. If he wanted to reach the highest level, not only did it require a large amount of wealth and connections, it was also extremely harsh on the beast master's own talent. The higher the talent class, the faster the speed of cultivation. Even the lowest ranked spirit beasts sent by an emperor. Tier beast master could plunge the continent into decades of war. In the past 200 years, the number of emperor. Tier existences among humans could be counted on one hand. Throughout his life, Shen Fei had only seen one, and that was Wang Yufei, a beast master from the same continent as Shen Fei. He was also the most famous beast master to this day. He commanded two emperor. Rank spirit beasts with ancient bloodlines. A bronze war beast and a silver guardian. Shen Fei vaguely remembered that when his grandfather was still alive, Wang Yufei came to their house once. He seemed to have discussed something with his grandfather and then left in a hurry. After that, no one had seen him for years until two years ago someone discovered the largest wormhole in history at one end of the continent. At the same time, they found Wang Yufei, who had been missing for many years. It was said that ever since the wormhole appeared, Wang Yufei had been guarding the area around the wormhole, protecting the peace of the entire continent. It was not until recently, when the exotic beast activity there gradually weakened, and a new patrol post was set up, that Wang Yufei was able to rest. It also was said that he would be the head examiner of the final examination and would be in attendance with the mayor. Chapter 32 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. In a predicament translator. Endless Fantasy Translation Editor. Endless Fantasy Translation Although Wang Yufei, an emperor. Tier Beast Master, was famous for his bronze war beast and silver guardian, he was also a genius. The number of spirit beasts he owned had actually reached a staggering ten. Each of the ten spirit beasts had their own strengths, and each one of them would make countless beast masters go mad if they were to be brought out. It was just that those two top-notch spirit beasts were more outstanding in general. The higher a beast master's tier was, the more spirit beasts they could contract. For example, Emperor.Tier Beast Masters could contract a maximum of 10 spirit beasts consecutively. As for a rookie.Tier Beast Master like Shen Fei, who had just started this career path, he could only sign a contract with two spirit beasts at most. Shen Fei understood that there were only two ways to increase his strength. The first was based on the skills of the spirit beast. 
after the spirit beast's skill level was increased, the role that the spirit beast could play would also be greater. Li Yuan's silver lightning tiger was an example of a higher skill level. In the time it took to breathe, it could summon countless electric arcs that circulated around its body. Although his flame owl had skills like ring of fire, the actual effect was just one fireball after another. Moreover, Li Yuan's silver lightning tiger did not seem to tire at all no matter how many skills it used. Meanwhile, after burning hundreds of spirit beasts, his flame owl showed signs of fatigue. This was the effect of a skill's level on the skill itself. The higher the level of the skill, the more accustomed a spirit beast would become to it, and the easier it would be to unleash. In a battle of equals, the level of a spirit beast's skill was also a key factor in determining the outcome of the battle. After that, it was the Beastmaster's tier. All Beastmasters would automatically be regarded as low-level rookies on the day they awakened their talents. At this stage of their career, not only was there no special treatment for Beastmasters, it was very easy for them to be looked down on. That was because there were simply too many Beastmasters who remained at the rookie tier their entire lives, especially those with low-class talents. In the early years, when the city was still short of Beastmasters, they had opened up a preferential allowance policy for Beastmasters. At that time, one could buy a beginner's cultivation technique book for a few thousand yuan. Since then, people had begun to pour in, choosing to become Beastmasters. However, this also led to some people forcing themselves to stay in it, even if they were not suited for this profession, wasting the benefits granted by the policy. As a result, the Jelen family officially cancelled this welfare policy for Beastmasters last year. Thinking of this, Shen Fei let out a sigh. He was really unlucky. If he had been born a year earlier, there would not have been such trouble. Talent affected the speed at which a Beastmaster's tier rose. In turn, the Beastmaster's tier would affect the efficacy of their own talent. The higher the tier, the better the effect of the talent. Other than that, the tier of a Beastmaster also determined how many spirit beasts one could sign a contract with in the end. But quality was still better than quantity. As strong as Wang Yufei was, the only spirit beasts that were truly worthy of being brought out were the two that had followed him for the longest time. As for the other eight spirit beasts in his arsenal, no one really remembered them. The most important thing was to concentrate their strength and cultivate the two most outstanding ones. Even though Shen Fei had absolute confidence in facing the state assessment and the final examination. However, it was hard to say if the mercenaries hired by those families would allow him to live until then. It was reasonable to assume that those families had spent tens of millions every year to find rare monstrosities. Shen Fei was only a rookie.tier beastmaster of the lowest level right now. As for the beastmasters supported by those families, they were basically at the apprentice or master tier. The spirit beasts they found might not have a high rank. They were most likely at the Marquis or Count rank. However, when paired with these Beastmasters' various strange talents, their combat effects were endless, and they would be even more difficult to deal with. With Li Yuan's personality, he would definitely not let the matter rest. From his vicious eyes, he would probably come to find trouble with Shen Fei again in two days. At that time, he would most likely have a few mercenaries by his side. Shen Fei had to make preparations in advance. Shen Fei rubbed his temples and fell into deep thought. If he wanted to deal with the Li family's young master with ease, he had to at least increase his Beastmaster tier within a month. However, raising his Beastmaster tier required a corresponding cultivation method. If it was in the past when there was a preferential allowance policy, Shen Fei would have to grit his teeth, but he could still pay for the cultivation technique book. But now, even the most basic cultivation technique would cost tens of thousands of yuan. To the poverty.stricken Shen Fei, this was no different from adding hail to snow and pelting it at his face. It was the same for spirit beasts to improve their skills. Not only did it require a lot of training, but it also required food that corresponded to the spirit beast's attributes to solve the problem. 
For example, the flame owl had to eat the corresponding fire attribute pomegranate spirit fruit. Spirit fruits were usually planted in large quantities in private villas, and the entrance fee alone was in the tens of thousands. And after picking them, visitors would have to pay another sum of money for these spirit fruits. The only other option was to take the risk and go through the wormhole to the original environment of the spirit beasts to pick their food. However, this task was extremely dangerous, and one could die if they were not careful. Furthermore, one spirit fruit could not sustain a spirit beast for a long time, and the market price for spirit fruits was very high. In this way, to raise a decent spirit beast, even if one only considered the most necessary expenses, it would still cost at least 4 to 5 million yuan. Shen Fei clutched his head. The biggest problem now was still the lack of money. He had to think of a way to earn money. Unfortunately, in this world, he was only 18 years old. Before that, there were a lot of white dot collar jobs that Shen Fei could not do. However, after becoming a beast master, there were more paths that ordinary people here could take. Shen Fei searched through his memories. For example, he could go to the wild or venture into the wormholes to catch wild spirit beast cubs and sell them to the beast breeding tower. It was not difficult to catch cubs. However, the difficult part was that each cub would be guarded by two spirit beasts at the count rank and above. He made a rough estimate. With his current strength, this job was basically out of the question. Shen Fei frowned. He had nowhere to vent his frustrations on. There was no other suitable work for him to do currently. This is such a difficult situation. If he wanted to improve his strength, he had to spend money to buy resources. With his current strength, he could not make money, let alone buy the resources he needed. If those powerful families were not hunting him down, it would be fine. However, they kept a close eye on him. What should I do now? Shen Fei was in despair. 2s. Chapter 33 You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Aloy's Proposal Translator. Endless Fantasy Translation Editor. Endless Fantasy Translation, forget it, I won't think about it. Since there was no way out, Shen Fei simply laid down on the bed and closed his eyes. It's useless to think so much. The money I lack won't appear like magic. It's better to have a good rest. When I'm full of energy tomorrow, I'll go to the streets and see if there's something I can try. If things really don't work out, I'll look into borrowing some money. Shen Fei closed his eyes and slept all the way until dawn. During his sleep, he heard someone knocking on the door. Knock, knock, knock. Who could that be? Shen Fei turned over impatiently. What are they doing instead of sleeping? Mr. Shen Fei, Mr. Shen Fei. However, even when Shen Fei turned over and covered his ears, the person at the door was still calling his name. It's so noisy that Shen Fei staggered up from the bed and opened the door with blurry eyes. Who is it? However, the moment he opened the door, Shen Fei immediately woke up. He stared at the scene at the door with a dumbfounded expression. Outside the door, thousands of people were divided into two rows and lined up from his house to half a street away. He did not know when it started, but the road was covered with a festive red carpet. There were also a few children with flower baskets. They were smiling as they scattered flower petals into the sky. On the side of the red carpet, there were even groups and various bands stationed to set the atmosphere. As soon as they saw Shen Fei come out, they started to play a happy and romantic song. For a moment, Shen Fei was a little stupefied. Did I open the wrong door? What's going on outside? What are you staring at? Aloy's voice came from a black car not far away. The door of the black car opened, and Aloy, who wore a white dress, slowly walked out of the car and walked toward Shen Fei. If he was not mistaken, everything must have been arranged by Aloy. But even so, Shen Fei was still confused. Why is she doing all this? Shen Fei, I, Aloy Jelen, have come with sincerity this time. 
At this point, Aloy reached out and patted the car door. Immediately, a dozen muscular men appeared, each pair carrying a crate between them, and they set crate after crate down behind Aloy. Shen Fei curiously examined the six boxes behind her. What's in the boxes? They seemed so heavy that it took two strong men to lift one. Open them and let him see the sincerity of our Jelen family. At Aloy's order, the brawny men beside her immediately pried open the lid of the crates. Instantly, several golden lights shot out from them. Shen Fei took a look and saw that the open chests was filled with gold, silver, and jewels. Moreover, even the two crates in the front were full of money of the largest denomination. Shen Fei quickly stopped his jaw from falling. There was at least two million in that crate just from the two stacks of bills on top. This amount of money was enough to buy the best cultivation manual out there. Moreover, he could also increase the level of his spirit beast skills. How good would it be if all this money was his? Aloy silently pursed her lips and looked at Shen Fei with some disappointment. Why did it feel like Shen Fei's attention was not on her at all even when she was dressed up today? Instead, he was looking behind her. Could it be that she was not as attractive as the chests filled with riches behind her? At the thought of this, Aloy suddenly felt a little depressed. However, in her previous life, her relationship with Shen Fei had not been that good either. Basically, ever since the two of them were engaged, they had only spoken a few times in the past decade. Furthermore, before this, Shen Fei even wanted to take the initiative to break off the engagement. Now that she had suddenly appeared to propose marriage, was she not being too rash? Aloy waved the fan in her hand to hide the distress on her face. She had to be reckless. She had to control the future within the most acceptable range. This time, I must secure Shen Fei in one fell swoop. This money is all for you. Aloy pretended to not care as she fanned herself, quietly observing Shen Fei's performance. Upon hearing this, Shen Fei's face did not betray any joy. In fact, he even became vigilant. What's the meaning of this? Shen Fei was immediately suspicious. Why is she giving me so much money for no reason? There's no such thing as a free lunch. For Aloy to bring so much money to him, there must be some secret plot at hand. But as for what she wanted, Shen Fei did not know. It's very simple. Aloy folded her fan and a satisfied smile appeared on her face. I've brought this money today to propose marriage. We were engaged when we were children, and it's time to fulfill our promise. These six chests of money are the Jelen family's promise to you. As long as you confirm the wedding date, not only are these six crates of money yours, but in the future, a part of the Jelen family's property will also be given to you. Upon hearing this, Shen Fei's heart was filled with delight. He had been so worried about money yesterday, yet the money came to him instead. Shen Fei was dumbstruck as he carefully thought about Aloy's words. Why does it feel like I'm the one being married off? If that's so, wouldn't I become alive? In son. In. Law of the Jelen family. But. Shen Fei stared at the six crates of money with reluctance. He needed money for his cultivation and his spirit beast skills. He also needed money for his daily expenses. Is there a faster way to earn money than agreeing to this proposal? This money is all real gold and silver. I can't just give up money for something as illusory as reputation, right? Let me think about it. Shen Fei forcefully suppressed the joy in his heart, but on the surface, he acted like a gentleman. He still had to put on a show. Aloy waved her fan anxiously. As she watched Shen Fei's pondering appearance, her heart became more and more uneasy. Shen Fei seemed to have always been a person who valued his dignity. I have ignored him in front of others several times for so long, it can't be that Shen Fei would hate me for this, right? Aloy gritted her teeth remorsefully. If it really doesn't work out, I've saved up a few million yuan in secret. If it comes down to it, I'll give it all to him here to sweeten the deal. 
she was willing to do anything as long as she could firmly hold her future in her hands. Looking at the wealth in front of him, Shen Fei weighed the pros and cons in his heart. I accept. Hearing this straightforward answer, Aloy was a little surprised. At the same time, she let out a sigh of relief. For someone she assumed had always valued his reputation, she did not expect him to be so easy to persuade. Aloy smiled, and her face immediately blushed. She did not know why, but she actually had some expectations for their future marriage. Since you've agreed, we shall marry on my birthday in a year's time, when I am of age. Chapter 34 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Spending the night in the same room as Aloy Translator Endless Fantasy Translation Editor Endless Fantasy Translation, no problem. Shen Fei readily agreed. Since you've agreed, I'm officially your fiancé from today onwards. She clapped her hands, and the servants next to her immediately stood up, lifted the chests on the ground, and helped Shen Fei carry them inside. Looking at the money in the box, Shen Fei's heart was extremely happy. With this amount of money, he would be able to pick a suitable cultivation technique when the time came. He could upgrade his tier soon. However, with the Jelen family's heritage, they should be able to afford to give a little more. Aloy, since you're my fiancé, can you help me with something? If it's within my means, yes. Aloy shrugged her shoulders and looked at Shen Fei curiously. Although I'm the future heir of the Jelen family, most family matters are still firmly controlled by my father. But if it's a small matter, I can definitely help you. She did not know what Shen Fei needed her help with, if he wanted to transfer her father's authority, she was afraid that she would not be of much help. However, if it was just some trivial matter, there should be no problems. It's like this. I'm currently in the cultivation period, and I need a cultivation manual that I can use. It must be at least of a high tier. Aloy listened attentively and blinked. Also, I'd like a large amount of spirit fruits that can help my spirit beasts level up their skills. Aloy tilted her head and asked, that's all you want. Yup. Shen Fei firmly nodded his head. Does the Green family have these? This. Aloy looked away. There were plenty of these things in the house. Although the Jelen family had only been in this city a few dozen years, with their great wealth, they had also accumulated quite a lot of such items. Normally, the people in her family could take as much as they wanted. However, Aloy's eyes turned as she began to plan. If she could use this opportunity to let Shen Fei have a better impression of her, that would be great. In that case, I'll go and make preparations. Those things are very precious, and it will take time to collect them. I'll send them to you in dot person tonight. All right, he said. Shen Fei nodded his head in satisfaction. A few servants happened to finish placing the money creates in Shen Fei's room. Mistress, we're done. Is there anything else? No, there's nothing else. Aloy shook her head decisively and turned to leave. I'll be heading back first, I'll bring you the things later. All right, see you. Shen Fei waved at Aloy, and the little bit of disgust he had for Aloy disappeared. Looking at the piles of treasures in his bedroom, Shen Fei was so happy that he was about to die. With these six crates of money, not only could he improve his strength to another tier, but he could also change his poor quality of life. Shen Fei quickly kept the money away properly. When night came, someone knocked on Shen Fei's door again. Knock, knock, knock. I'm here. It seemed that Aloy had arrived. Shen Fei opened the door. Sure enough, Aloy was holding a few cultivation books in her hands. The servants behind her were also carrying a few baskets of spirit fruits. These things are for you. How about we leave them in the courtyard first? Shen Fei decisively nodded his head and happily took the cultivation books from Aloy's hands. With this, he could quickly increase his strength. All right, you guys can go back first. As soon as the servants put down the baskets, Aloy quickly asked them to leave. 
However, Aloy sat on a stone bench in the yard, showing no intention of leaving. Aloy, it's getting late. Aren't you going back, he asked. Shen Fei looked at Aloy with a puzzled expression. He had a bad feeling about this. Sure enough, in the next second, seeing that there was no one around, Aloy took the initiative to approach him, a hint of frivolity in her eyes. She firmly grabbed Shen Fei's hand and muttered to him, It's already so late, aren't you going to invite me inside? She can't be thinking of doing those things, right? Shen Fei's throat tightened, and he quickly leaned back. This won't do. He wanted to use tonight's time to practice his cultivation technique. He had to put his time on something more meaningful. No, Shen Fei decisively shook his head. I would never do such a thing before marriage. What's going on with you? Aloy lightly flicked Shen Fei's head. I only said that I'm going to spend the night at your house. I didn't say anything else. You're only going to sleep at my place for the night. Yes. After receiving Aloy's confirmation, Shen Fei immediately heaved a sigh of relief. You should have said so earlier. Don't worry, I don't have many things in my house, but I have plenty of guest rooms. And it just so happens that the room my dad used to sleep in is yours tonight. As he said this, Shen Fei took the initiative to open the door for Aloy. However, he was pulled into Aloy's arms. I'm saying, Aloy leaned on Shen Fei's shoulder and whispered into his ear I'll sleep with you in your room for tonight. Shen Fei was stunned at hearing this. There aren't many places in my room where you can sleep. The narrow bed could probably fit one more person if we squeeze a little. That won't do either. Shen Fei quickly shook his head. Can't I? Aloy tightly hugged Shen Fei's waist and threatened him. If I go back tonight, I'll take away the six crates I gave you during the day, the cultivation books, and all the spirit fruits for your spirit beasts. As she said this, she released her grip and let go of Shen Fei. I'll just have to see if you want these things or not. Shen Fei sighed in his heart. There's really no other way. If it had not been for the fact that his family was poor, he would not have to sell his body for money and cultivation books. All right, then. Shen Fei helplessly nodded his head. But my bed is quite narrow. Do you want to sleep on the inside or outside tonight? Eh. What did you just say? The servants beside her were carrying a luxurious mattress over and started to clean up the house for her. It's nothing, Shen Fei wished he could give himself a slap. What were you thinking just now? With Aloy's personality, when did she become like this? Aloy smiled proudly. Just now, she saw through Shen Fei's thoughts with a glance. It was quite fun to tease him occasionally. I'm going to sleep. Shen Fei reached out and pressed the switch to the side. Yes, go to sleep. Aloy put on her sleep mask and slept alone on the pure velvet sheets beside Shen Fei. Even if they were to sleep on the floor with just the new sheets, it would still be more luxurious than Shen Fei's old bed. Rich people really have it good. Although the lights were turned off, Shen Fei's mind could not help but let his imagination run wild. He turned his head and looked at Aloy. Under the moonlight, Aloy's side profile looked so sweet, and her mind must be filled with all sorts of weird thoughts. Shen Fei pulled a pillow from the side and fiercely covered his face with it. Don't think too much. Sleep. I'll wake up early tomorrow to exercise. However, once he laid down, Shen Fei did not sleep the entire night. 3S. Chapter 35 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Unintentionally making a splash translator Endless Fantasy Translation Editor Endless Fantasy Translation The next morning, just as the sun rose, Aloy opened her eyes. The moment she took off her sleep mask, she saw Shen Fei with dark circles under his eyes. She could not help but laugh out loud. Sure enough, it was just as she had expected. Shen Fei did not sleep at all last night and laid on his bed all night. Moreover, he did not do anything to her the whole night. 
In terms of character, he passed. After this night, Aloy's good impression of Shen Fei had increased by a few points. Are you hungry? Aloy asked with concern. If you're hungry, I'll get the servants to make you something to eat. Yes, I am. Just cook anything, there's no need to make it too complicated. Shen Fei yawned and hastily nodded his head. He pulled the blanket over his head and went to sleep. Then you should sleep first. Aloy smiled sweetly and whispered in Shen Fei's ear, I'll wake you up when breakfast is ready. When he opened his eyes again, the sun was already high up in the sky. Shen Fei suddenly got up from the bed. How long have I been sleeping? You're awake. To the side, Aloy put down the book in her hand and came over with concern. It's almost noon now, and the breakfast I prepared for you is cold. I'll heat it up for you. No, no need. Shen Fei hurriedly stopped Aloy and simply wiped his face. He did not sleep well last night, so he was still quite sleepy. B. Noel Dutem Shen Fei picked up the cold breakfast and looked at Aloy with sense grievance. If Aloy had not been around last night, he would have been cultivating by now. He had wasted a night in vain. Although Shen Fei still had some complaints toward Aloy, he was not as hateful as he was when he first transmigrated. However, he still did not have any thoughts of marrying Aloy. Shen Fei, our wedding will be in a year. Aloy smiled as she picked up a piece of food and placed it on Shen Fei's plate. When the time comes, I'll definitely treat you well. Shen Fei perfunctorily nodded his head, took the food and started eating. Although Shen Fei's impression of Aloy had improved a lot, he was still opposed to the idea of marrying her. This matter was easy to handle. One year later, on the day of the wedding, he would just run away and be done with her. At that time, no matter if it was his beast master tier, his spirit beast rank, or his skill level, Shen Fei would most likely reach a whole new category. Even if he ran away, Aloy could not do anything to him. Shen Fei's mind was racing. A year later, it would also be the end of the final exam. He could take advantage of this opportunity to explore the vast world outside. Marriage. No way. It's almost time. Aloy glanced at the watch on her wrist. Although I'd like to stay here for a while, I still have something to deal with. I'll take my leave first. Bye. Shen Fei waved at Aloy and focused on the food on his plate. Phew. It was only when Aloy walked out the door that she finally relaxed. I've established an inseparable connection with Shen Fei. Once we tie the knot, the outcome of the future would definitely change. At the thought of this, Aloy's mood instantly brightened. She happily led her servants back to the mayor's mansion on the mountain. D asterisk MN. The goddess. However, just a few seconds after Aloy had left, a blonde man wearing sunglasses happened to pass by the side of the alley. Blondie gazed at Aloy in surprise. Why would the goddess appear in this broken down place? Suddenly, Blondie seemed to have recalled something and turned to look in the direction that Aloy had come from. That place is Shen Fei's home. Goddess, don't tell me you stayed the night at Shen Fei's house. This thought struck Blondie's heart like a bolt of lightning on a clear day. In an instant, the disgust in his eyes towards Shen Fei became even more intense. He fiercely spat in front of Shen Fei's mansion. Shen Fei has actually secretly taken action without us knowing. Humph, he clearly said that he was not familiar with Aloy, but I didn't expect that they would both be rolling in the same bed. He had to quickly tell his comrades about this huge problem. Blondie took out his phone, secretly took a picture of Aloy's back and send it to the group. It's bad, guys. Our goddess has already lost her innocence. After a while, there was a wave of commotion in the group. Hey, don't talk nonsense. The goddess would never do this kind of thing, we're all fans of our goddess. Is there any point in spreading rumors about her? I'm not talking nonsense. I saw all of this with my own eyes. The goddess came out from Shen Fei's house. Shen Fei again. 
Once Shen Fei was mentioned, the group members were instantly enraged. Quickly, tell us what is going on. It's like this. I was passing by Shen Fei's house today, but I saw Aloy walking out of Shen Fei's house. The two of them were engaged to begin with. Now that they're doing this, they must have already gone all the way. How can the mod say this? In just a few minutes, the news that Aloy spent the night at Shen Fei's house had spread throughout the whole school. When the students who admired Aloy heard the news, they gritted their teeth so hard that they almost chipped them. In just a few minutes, Shen Fei made a few hundred more enemies. At this moment, Shen Fei was completely unaware of all of this. He flipped open the cultivation manual, and under the afternoon sun, he began to read it slowly. The words on the cultivation manual seemed to have a magical power. One by one, they flew into Shen Fei's mind, driving Shen Fei's cultivation to soar. In just a few hours, Shen Fei had memorized the contents of the entire book. His cultivation had also officially broken away from Rookie Tear. As if he had been injected with enhancing drugs, he was fast approaching the novice tier. When he closed the book, it was already evening. Only at this moment did Shen Fei registered something in his mind. The contents of this cultivation manual were very profound. As he read it, he actually forgot the time. Moreover, his cultivation base had actually improved a lot without him realizing it. He was no longer a rookie beast tamer. However, at this rate, it would take at least another half dot month before he could fully advance and become novice beast master. Now, it's time to upgrade my spirit beast. Shen Fei stretched out his hand and summoned the flame owl. He then brought a few fire attribute spirit fruits to it. However, just as Shen Fei touched the pomegranates, the talent in his mind immediately sent a notification. Food that can be upgraded has been detected. Do you wish to proceed? Could spiritual fruits be upgraded? Shen Fei looked at the fruit in his hand in confusion. 2S Chapter 36 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Upgrading Skill Levels ENVE Translator Endless Fantasy Translation Editor Endless Fantasy Translation Upgrade Under Shen Fei's command, the fire. Attribute pomegranate spirit fruit in his hand instantly became even fuller. The fruits inside also became crystal clear, like rubies. Hoot, hoot. The flame owl looked at the fire spirit fruit in Shen Fei's hand with a greedy look. It was so greedy that its saliva was about to spill out. It took the initiative to stretch its head over and rub against Shen Fei, looking at Shen Fei with a fawning expression. Shen Fei was amused by the flame owl's performance. All right, take it and eat it. Shen Fei extended his hand and threw half of the pomegranate spirit fruit into the flame owl's mouth. The flame owl devoured the fire spirit fruit with gusto, and it did not take long for it to finish the entire fruit. Hoot, hoot. The spirit fruit went into its stomach. The flame owl's big round eyes were still staring at Shen Fei, as if it was saying that it had not eaten enough. Was it not enough? Shen Fei looked at the flame owl with some doubt. It didn't seem to have changed much from before. Let's wait a moment. Shen Fei reached out and picked up the flame owl. He frowned as he carefully observed it. After eating the entire fire spirit fruit, the flame owl's appearance did not change at all. He felt that after eating one, there didn't seem to be any difference in appearance. Why don't I try feeding another one? Shen Fei tried to pick up the pomegranate spirit fruit and passed it to the flame owl. Koo. When the second fire spirit fruit came near it, the flame owl immediately opened its mouth, waiting for Shen Fei to put the fire spirit fruit inside. Shen Fei extended his hand and placed the fire spirit fruit into the flame owl's mouth. The flame owl excitedly swallowed the second fire spirit fruit whole. After swallowing the second fire spirit fruit, the feathers all over the flame owl's body suddenly exploded like a bonfire that had gasoline added to it. Numerous bright sparks floated around the feathers of the flame owl like fireflies. The phoenix aura of the flame owl also became more powerful. 
Shen Fei's eyes lit up. As expected, the reason why there was no change just now was because the flame owl had not eaten enough. Shen Fei pointed at the withered trees in the courtyard. Flame owl, use fireball. Ku. The flame owl's body trembled, and it suddenly spat out a huge fireball at the tree in the distance. Boom. The huge fireball hit the trunk of the old tree. Before Shen Fei could react, the old tree in the courtyard was burnt into a pile of ash. Shen Fei patted the flame owl's head in satisfaction. It looked much more powerful than the last time. He looked at the remaining baskets of fire spirit fruits in the distance. There was still a pile of them left. In that case, I'll feed the rest of the fruits to the flame owl. Shen Fei upgraded all the fruits in the basket and placed them in front of the flame owl, allowing it to consume them. When it saw the large pile of fire spirit fruits in front of it, Shen Fei was startled. The flame owl immediately shrunk its head and burrowed into the basket to gobble down the food. After a while, the bird disappeared into the pile. As for its skill level, it became stronger as it continued to eat. Using the interface, Shen Fei looked at the flame owl's skill level bar in satisfaction. The flame owl's skill level had reached level 28. It was only two levels away from reaching level 30 and activating its skill mutation. It was time for the three dot clawed golden dragon to level up. Come out, three dot clawed golden dragon. Shen Fei immediately released the spirit beast. Roar. With a roar, an awe. Inspiring dark dot a tribute golden dragon appeared in Shen Fei's room. Shen Fei looked at the three dot clawed golden dragon in front of him with a slightly worried expression. Well. Aloy had given me a few basketfuls of spirit fruits. I think I can only feed it a few of these fruits. Shen Fei picked up five or six dark dot attribute spirit fruits from the top of the basket. After a series of upgrades, he fed them to the three dot clawed golden dragon one by one. After feeding it, the three dot clawed golden dragon's skill level also increased rapidly. After a while, its skill level successfully broke through the level 20 barrier and soon reached level 23. By this time, all the dark dot attribute spirit fruits in Shen Fei's hands had already been eaten by the three dot clawed golden dragon. The three dot clawed golden dragon looked at Shen Fei with its eyes wide open. It was obviously asking for more. There's no more. There are only a few dark dot attribute spirit fruits. I really can't find any more. Shen Fei could only helplessly spread his hands. Of course, he wanted to feed the three dot clawed golden dragon like he fed the gluttonous flame owl. Although the flame owl had the phoenix bloodline, it was still a long way from becoming a true phoenix. Meanwhile, the three dot clawed golden dragon in front of him was a real dragon. When he fed the spirit fruits to the three dot clawed golden dragon, its skill level rose much faster than the flame owls. But no means no. Shen Fei looked at the three dot clawed golden dragon with some regret. If spirit beasts could eat spirit fruits with different attributes, he would have given all the remaining spirit fruits to the dragon. Shen Fei's current strength was stronger than before, but it was still not enough to face those assassins. The spirit beasts are so hardworking, I can't slack off either. Shen Fei immediately took out another training manual and continued to flip through it. The words on the manual immediately led Shen Fei into a long period of cultivation. By the time Shen Fei returned to his senses and closed the manual, it was already the next morning. An entire day had passed. However, even though he did not sleep the entire night, Shen Fei did not feel sleepy, he was in fact full of energy. This was the advantage of cultivation training. Shen Fei's spirit was roused. He opened the cultivation manual in his hand, wanting to continue. But very quickly, Shen Fei noticed the time, Monday, 7.26 a.m. At this time, class would begin soon. He was shocked. He quickly put down his book, packed up a a bit, and rushed to the school. It would be better to continue cultivating after he returned. Shen Fei got up and packed his things. 
he carried his bag and set off for school. On the way to the school, Shen Fei saw three to five girls gathered together. They looked as if they were quietly discussing something. Hey, did you guys hear? It's about that. I heard, I heard. It's going crazy in our school. What do you think? I think it's just two people fooling around. Otherwise, who would do this before marriage? What are they talking about? Shen Fei curiously gauged the female student beside him. Usually, they would come over and greet him warmly when they saw him. But today, for some reason, they were particularly far away from him. And since just now, they had been giving him strange looks. It was as if he had done something wrong. This caused Shen Fei to be extremely puzzled. Chapter 37 You are listening at NovelFull.audio The rumor has inexplicably spread translator. Endless Fantasy Translation Editor Endless Fantasy Translation, what are you guys talking about? Shen Fei walked toward them, wanting to ask about the situation. However, the moment the girls saw him, they revealed looks of derision. They quickened their pace and fled to the other side of the road. Shen Fei was immediately confused. Do I smell? Why are they hiding from me? It was really strange. Shen Fei looked at the girls in front of him in befuddlement. What was wrong with them today? Although he had doubts, Shen Fei did not take it to heart. However, along the way, no matter where he passed by, there would be people gathered together, looking at him and whispering. They even kept looking at him with indescribably strange eyes. What did I do wrong? Shen Fei could not help but frown. Why does it feel like everyone in the world is deliberately targeting me today? He quickened his pace and ran to the classroom. Just as he pushed the door open, no matter what the people present were doing, their line of sight immediately concentrated on Shen Fei. Everyone was staring at him with a strange look. Everyone, regardless of gender, was whispering to each other. I didn't expect. People nowadays are so open-dot-minded. Humph, no matter how open-dot-minded you are. Just look at him, I don't support him. Me, too. I think he's too full of himself. Why would I support him? Shen Fei frowned, a ball of fire rose in his heart. What the hell is up with them? If you have any dissatisfaction, you can say it to my face. Don't mumble behind my back. As soon as he said that, everyone present immediately quieted down. But there was a trace of resentment and hatred in their eyes. Shen Fei glowered as he looked at everyone. Speak up. What are you dissatisfied about? Just say it. But even after a long time, no one dared to say a word. In fact, no one was even willing to step forward. Ever since Shen Fei obtained the title of first echelon, the number of people who took the initiative to provoke him had decreased a lot. Shen Fei Lillian sat beside Shen Fei with a complicated expression that which was a rare occurrence her dot and asked with red eyes, I heard that you spent the night with Aloy. Is that true? Shen Fei firmly nodded his head. The surrounding people immediately flew into an uproar. Their glares were like daggers. Lillian's eyes became redder and she looked sad, as if she was about to cry the next second. Then. I wish you happiness. What the hell is this? Shen Fei helplessly laughed and immediately pulled Lillian who was about to leave. In his memory, this childhood friend had always had a good impression of him. However, because of the engagement, she had never expressed her feelings to Shen Fei directly. I'm not done yet, don't be in a hurry to leave. Shen Fei grabbed Lillian's tender hands and looked at her swollen eyes with sincerity. Such a thing did happen, but we are only spent the night together. Other than sleeping, we didn't do anything else. Lillian's eyes lit up. What you just said, is it true? Of course. Do you think I would lie to you? A bright smile appeared on Lillian's face. I believe you. By the way, I have a question that I hope you can answer truthfully. Shen Fei sat down. 
Based on what she said, he already figured that something was wrong. For example, why was it that everyone seemed to already know about the private matter between him and Aloy? Certainly, when Aloy came to find him in the other day, there was quite a commotion. He wished that half the city would know that Aloy had come to him to propose marriage. However, staying overnight was something that happened at night. In addition, Aloy did not bring many people with her at that time. How did they find out? She couldn't have brought a few people to wait at the door in advance and cause trouble, right? I. Lillian hesitated for a moment before revealing everything to Shen Fei. I saw people talking about this in the school's group chat, and there are all kinds of versions, so I thought I should come and ask you. This morning, someone took a photo and posted it in the group, saying that he saw Aloy coming out of your house. He even said that she stayed the night at your house. Then, the entire group exploded. Although they've gone overboard with their cursing, I've grown up with you since we were kids. I've always felt that you weren't that kind of person. Shen Fei immediately caught the few keywords. There were various versions in the group chat. Have I been slandered? Shen Fei smiled bitterly. He did not do anything that night, and even had insomnia. Then, when he arrived at campus, everyone looked like they wanted to stone him. Injustice. I have been truly slighted. Irked, Shen Fei looked at the students in front of him. In turn, everyone in the class, both boys and girls, were glaring at him with hostility. To be honest, if it were not for the fact that their strength was inferior to Shen Fei's, they would have already attacked. Students, get ready for class. The homeroom teacher brought the teaching materials to the classroom. The moment the teacher entered, Shen Fei felt a familiar gaze. Looking at the serious face of the homeroom teacher, Shen Fei twitched the corner of his mouth in annoyance. He did not expect the homeroom teacher to believe this as well. Shen Fei, come find me after class. After class, the homeroom teacher stood outside the classroom and lectured Shen Fei with heartfelt words. Shen Fei did not say much, he only nodded his head, looking extremely indifferent. I don't find it strange that you could do such a thing. After all, you're young and full of vigor. But, let me put it this way, Shen Fei, don't blame me for my harsh words. The most important thing for you now is to do your best for the final exam. In that regard, it's better for you to abstain. If you really do have desires, you have to use your willpower to resist them. If you do it every day, it'll have a huge impact on your body. Shen Fei was stunned when he heard this. He had only slept in the same room as Aloy for one night. They did not do anything, not even hold hands. How did he suddenly become so experienced in the eyes of others the next day? Dot and each one was more excessive than the last. In the end, in the eyes of others, they would always find a problem with him because of his relationship with Aloy. I can't let this continue. Shen Fei anxiously grabbed the homeroom teacher's sleeve. Sir, listen to me. It's not what you think. Shen Fei. I'm an adult. I understand these things. It's a normal thing, there's nothing to be embarrassed about. After saying this, the homeroom teacher patted Shen Fei's shoulder with a heavy heart. You just have to remember to control yourself. Young people shouldn't overwork themselves. It's very harmful to the body afterwards. Chapter 38 You are listening at NovelFull.audio To explain is to cover up translator. Endless Fantasy Translation Editor Endless Fantasy Translation, you must remember to control yourself. The teacher patted Shen Fei's shoulder and turned around to leave. I really didn't do anything that night. The corner of Shen Fei's mouth twitched in frustration. Once this rumor spreads, he would not be able to clear his name even if he committed suicide. No, he had to make things clear to these people. Shen Fei ran back to the classroom, pushed the door open, and shouted to the crowd. Everyone, put down what you're doing and listen to me. I will tell you everything that happened last night. The students immediately perked up. 
They all looked at Shen Fei with anticipation. He had to clarify this matter today. Shen Fei took a deep breath. The rumors on the internet are all fake. Aloy did come to my house to sleep last night, but we didn't do anything. The two of us are still innocent. Before he could finish his sentence, the faces of some of the Aloy fans below turned ugly. Why isn't it working? Shen Fei frowned and quickly added, and it was Aloy who took the initiative to look for me. She was the one who made the request. I'm the one being threatened. As soon as he said this, everyone burst into laughter. Ha 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 ha. Do you think anyone will believe what you just said? The man in sunglasses sneered. If you f asterisk ck the goddess, then what's done is done, what else can we say? You're a man, but you're being threatened by a woman. Don't you feel embarrassed for saying this? Yeah. Someone in the crowd echoed. And don't you have a mouth? You agreed to it just because she threatened you. Coercion. Do you think that the goddess would threaten others? Of course she wouldn't L.C. The bootlickers shouted in unison. And you're the goddess's fiancé. To be honest, does the goddess need to threaten you? Shen Fei's felt depressed and he was speechless. What else? Come on, stop pretending, kid. Even the girls in the class could not bear to hear this. Aloy is so beautiful and has an impressive figure. You're a man. How can you resist her? The girls all looked at Shen Fei with condemning eyes. That's right. If you have the guts to do it, why don't you have the guts to admit it? But I really didn't. Shen Fei felt a deep sense of powerlessness. If they really had sex, the current Shen Fei would not have been so conflicted. But the problem was that this was something that appeared out of thin air, and it was fabricated. After this incident, Shen Fei would be bound to Aloy by public opinion. At a loss for words, Shen Fei looked at the crowd. He finally understood how those celebrities in his previous life were deeply involved in scandals. It seemed like he could not rely on just himself. He had to find Aloy as well and let her make a joint statement with him. On the same day after school, Shen Fei found the road sign that Aloy would usually come to when she alighted from her bus and sat down beside it. He had already found out that there was something wrong with Aloy's exclusive school bus recently, so she was now riding the regular bus with the other students. As long as he had the chance, he would definitely be able to explain everything. Not long after, the school bus from Aloy's school arrived. When they saw Shen Fei at the bus stop, the students on the immediately began to chatter. Look, isn't that the fiancé who spent the night with Aloy yesterday? Sigh, looks like it's true. I heard that Aloy agreed to spend the night with him because he threatened her. Lower your voices and stop talking. Perhaps Aloy is very sad. The other students all looked at Aloy with pity. Aloy was sitting alone by the window, and there seemed to be a lingering melancholy in her eyes. Seeing Aloy like this, Aloy's classmates became even more furious. How could Shen Fei do such a thing? He's worse than a beast. Listening to the discussions about Shen Fei, Aloy did not come forward to refute or explain. However, the corners of her mouth curled up in a smug smile, because this was exactly the effect she wanted. This time, even if Shen Fei committed suicide, he would not be able to clear his name. It did not matter if he wanted to acknowledge her as his fiancé or not, the relationship between the two of them had an additional level of intimacy to it. At that time, there would be all kinds of public opinion forcing him to admit it. Aloy. Her best friend, Anna, looked at Aloy with a worried expression. She's been like this for quite a while now. I don't know when she'll be in a better mood. Seeing that the school bus was about to stop, Anna took the initiative to reach out and hold Aloy's arm. Let's go, Aloy. I'll walk back with you today, she said. Okay. Aloy pretended to be uninterested and nodded, then got off the bus with her best friend. As soon as she got off the bus, she saw Shen Fei waiting for her at the road sign. Aloy. She came down. 
As soon as he saw Aloy, Shen Fei immediately walked over to her. You're finally here. Hurry up and... No, you can't. The moment she saw Shen Fei, Anna, immediately extended her arm and kept Aloy behind her, blocking Shen Fei from approaching. Anna, what are you doing? Aloy blinked and looked at her in confusion. Aloy, I have something to tell him. Anna looked at Shen Fei with a face full of hatred. She stretched out her hand and ruthlessly shoved his body. I thought that even though you're not talented, you were at least a good person. I didn't expect you to be this kind of person. You even forced Aloy to do such a thing in your house. After being accused like this, Shen Fei was instantly speechless. Why am I the one being blamed for all the bad things? And when have I ever forced Aloy? It's clearly Aloy who forced me. Wait, Anna. Let me tell you what happened yesterday. Aloy smiled helplessly and stepped forward to stop her. There were only the three of them in this place, so it would not make much of a difference even if she told others. You've misunderstood Shen Fei, I did. Anna looked at Aloy in disbelief. Aloy, are you being coerced? If you're being threatened, just blink your eyes. I'm not, Anna, Aloy said bluntly. The things you read on the internet, other than the part where I spent the night at Shen Fei's house, were all fake. But didn't he force you? Aloy shook her head. He didn't force me. We didn't have any contact the whole night. Didn't you go to his house because he forced you? The idea of spending the night at Shen Fei's house was also my own idea. It was not his idea. What? Anna could not believe it. Then why don't you come out and explain that none of these things happened? It's because it never happened that I didn't come out to explain. Also, Aloy subconsciously looked at Shen Fei. If I did, how would I be bound to Shen Fei? Chapter 39 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Sending me on my merry way with just two boxes of spirit fruits. Translator Endless Fantasy Translation Editor Endless Fantasy Translation Anna covered her mouth with a look of disbelief. Obviously, she could not accept such an outcome. Aloy shook her head with a bitter smile. I'm sorry, Anna. No matter how unacceptable it was to her, Aloy would not change her mind because of this. Aloy, how could you? Her best friend shook her head, and the way she looked at Aloy instantly became a lot more unfamiliar. You weren't like this before. After saying this, Anna turned around and left. I'm sorry, but I want to go back alone today. Only Shen Fei and Aloy were left at the deserted bus stop. Are you satisfied with the current result? Shen Fei glowered at Aloy. He really did not know what Aloy was thinking about each day. You did all those things on purpose, didn't you? Sigh. Aloy sighed slowly and casually rolled up her hair. I didn't know it would turn out like this. I didn't order them to spread such a big rumor. That innocent tone was like that of an innocent little white rabbit. Shen Fei pursed his lips and coldly looked at Aloy. She's definitely doing this on purpose. Aloy was the symbol of the Jelen family's reputation, and they regarded their reputation as more important than their lives. How could she just ignore such a scandal that could ruin her reputation unless she had other motives? Shen Fei squinted his eyes. The key was. What did Aloy want from him? His true talent had not been revealed to anyone. The Shen family's resources had long been squandered away by his father. The two spirit beasts he had signed a contract with were not bad. But Shen Fei asked himself honestly, if I really had an F.class talent, and if Aloy had the time to wait for me to grow, it would be better for her to look for another beast master with more potential. Could it be that she's after my face? But if she really wanted my face, then why did she ignore me before? Shen Fei could not puzzle it out. No. I can't just let this matter go like this. No matter what, Aloy had to compensate him for his loss. Don't be angry, I didn't know that this would happen. What? 
I can't be angry. Shen Fei put on an angry posture. I told the other students, but they didn't believe me. They even thought that I was the one who pressured you. My innocent reputation has been destroyed without any reason. As the party involved, why don't you come out and help me resolve this? What's the big deal? Pfft, Aloy laughed, unable to hide the smile on her face. Looking at Shen Fei's reaction, Aloy understood what he meant. He was asking her for compensation. Two boxes of spirit fruits, one for fire attributes and one for dark attributes. What kind of person do you think I am? Shen Fei pretended to be angry and frowned, but in his heart, he was secretly delighted. You've caused me so much damage, now you want to send me on my merry way with just two boxes of spirit fruits. Aloy decisively doubled the number. For boxes, deal. Shen Fei's tightly furrowed brows relaxed in an instant. When are you sending the four boxes over? Tonight or tomorrow night? Tomorrow. That's a lot of spirit fruits. I'll need some time to count them. Good. I'll be waiting for you. Shen Fei nodded his head in satisfaction. He no longer haggled over the matter from before and turned around to walk home. It was exactly as she had thought. Aloy suddenly laughed and turned around to return to the mayor's mansion. In the study of the mayor's mansion. Knock, knock. Aloy knocked on the door of the study room with a stack of spirit fruit lists. Father, I'm going to take some more spirit fruits from the warehouse. You can take whatever you want for that kind of small matter, just let the butler know. However, I have something else to tell you. Come in first. Yes, sir. Aloy answered and pushed the door open. The current mayor, the head of the Jelen family, Edward Jelen, was sitting in the study. Father, what is it you wish to discuss? It's about your engagement, Edward stated clearly, looking at his daughter worriedly. I remember that you were adamant about not wanting to marry Shen Fei. Why are you suddenly willing to marry him now? You even gave him so many things in advance, all of which were allocated from your own cultivation resources. Aren't you afraid of raising an ungrateful husband in the future? Edward looked at her worriedly. If our relationship with them is still considered good, then this bit of resources can be considered as being put to good use. However, ever since you said that you didn't want to be with Shen Fei, I have been deliberately distancing us from the Shen family. At this point, the mayor let out a long sigh. The relationship between the Shen family and our Jelen family is no longer as close as before. Are you sure he really wants to marry you? What if he really runs away? It won't happen, father, it won't. Aloy shook her head decisively. She was not worried about Shen Fei running away. In any case, she could see Shen Fei's life path for the future. Even if Shen Fei really wanted to run, she could make preparations in advance. You're quite big dot hearted. Edward sighed slowly. The worry in his voice did not decrease at all. Hearing this, Aloy felt a little exasperated. Father. No matter what, please believe in my judgment. I have my own reasons for choosing Shen Fei. Please support me, but his talent is a little low. Daughter, he's only an F. class. Your talent is A. class. Even if it's not for your own sake, consider the Jelen family's bloodline. Such a person, if he enters our Jelen family, he will definitely pollute the pure blood of our family. I won't agree to it. Lord Jelen looked at his daughter with a pained expression. He had carefully raised Aloy since she was a toddler, and had trained her to be a very outstanding person in all aspects. With my daughter's taste, how could she have fallen for such a man? Looking at her father, who had taken care of her all her life, Aloy suddenly fell silent, and lowered her eyes. This is all for the future, father. Only people like Shen Fei could create the possibility for us to survive the future disaster. The reason why I treated Shen Fei like that before was to encourage him and let him grow properly. Now, Shen Fei no longer needs my encouragement. If you don't believe me, you can go to our school to get the video of the match. 
the battle between him and Li Yuan that day was absolutely wonderful. Really. Lord Jelen was skeptical. All right, but for the sake of the family's reputation, don't go to his place tonight. As for the spirit fruits, I'll have someone send them to the Shen family later. All right. Aloy nodded. I'll follow your arrangements, father. At this moment, Shen Fei was cultivating non dot stop at home. As soon as he got home, he was immersed in the world of cultivation laws, and his cultivation level rose slowly. 2S Chapter 40 You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Fighting for the Cultivation Room Translator. Endless Fantasy Translation Editor. Endless Fantasy Translation Knock, Knock, Knock. Just as Shen Fei was cultivating to his heart's content, a series of knocks came from the door. Mr. Shen Fei, we're from the mayor's mansion. We've placed the four boxes of spirit fruits at the entrance for you. Got it. He did not expect the spirit fruits from Aloy to be delivered so quickly. Shen Fei happily jumped off the bed and quickly ran to the door. With these spirit fruits, he could finally upgrade the two spiritual beasts' skill levels to 30. He placed his hand on the four baskets of spirit fruits and silently chanted, Upgrade. Soon, the four boxes of spirit fruits were upgraded. Shen Fei extended his hand and summoned the two spirit beasts. Ku. Roar. The flame owl and the three-dot-clawed golden dragon looked at the two baskets of spirit fruits in front of them and tilted their heads in confusion. Hurry up and eat. These spirit fruits are for you. Shen Fei took the initiative to place the spirit fruits in front of the two of them. Eat, eat. The two spirit beasts' faces immediately revealed pleasantly surprised expressions. They eagerly stood in front of their baskets and began to gobble up the food. Very quickly, the skill levels of the two spirit beasts both broke through to level 30. The flame owl's two skills were decent, so it did not need to be reset. The ring of fire could be used to attack and defend. The blazing charge was not bad either. In comparison, the bloodline suppression of the three-dot-clawed golden dragon was more practical, but it lacked offensive power. Shen Fei took the initiative to place his hand on the three-dot-clawed golden dragon's head. Instantly, the talent in his mind gave him a notification. A skill that can mutate and evolve has been detected. Bloodline Suppression Would you like to proceed with the mutation and evolution? Yes. There are two evolution branches to choose from. One, Dark Spirit Intimidation, on the basis of Bloodline Suppression, Dark attribute damage is significantly increased, and the opponent will enter a state of paralysis. 2. Ancient Prestige, enhances the effect of bloodline suppression and doubles the user's attack and defense. The two skills seem to be pretty good. Shen Fei started to hesitate. Which one should I choose? He tried to tap on both skills, but he still could not make a choice. Choice confirmed. Bloodline suppression has mutated and evolved into dark spirit intimidation and ancient prestige. Ha! Huh. Shen Fei looked at the three-dot-clawed golden dragon's two additional skills in shock, and was immediately overjoyed. It turned out that more than one mutation could be chosen. That's awesome! Shen Fei looked at the three-dot-clawed golden dragon in surprise. After the upgrade, the three-dot-clawed golden dragon no longer lacked offensive skills. This time, its strength has been completely improved for the first time the next thing he had to do was to raise his beast master tier. In the following week, other than going to school, Shen Fei spent most of his time cultivating. His strength had also advanced triumphantly from a rookie beast master, and was only a step away from becoming a novice beast master. Time passed, and it was soon Friday. After class, the teacher suddenly called Shen Fei, Shen Fei, wait. The teacher quickly walked over and handed the registration form to Shen Fei. This Saturday, you and the other echelons will have to go to the principal's office. The teacher patted Shen Fei's shoulder and instructed. Don't you forget. All right, teacher. Shen Fei accepted the application form and arrived at the school punctually on Saturday. 
As soon as he entered the school, Shen Fei saw a dozen students of the same grade standing at the door of the principal's office. They were all holding a similar application form in their hands. Dot Shen Fei quickly swept his gaze over them. These people should all be echelon students like him. However, even though they were of the same grade, Shen Fei did not know them. Knock, knock, knock. Shen Fei walked determinately forward and gently knocked on the door of the principal's office. Principal, we're here. May we come in now? Oh. Please, come in, come in. Only when he heard a response from inside did Shen Fei turn the doorknob and enter. The other students also followed behind Shen Fei. Good morning, echelons. The principal was dressed in a formal suit. He walked to the front of the ten people with a smile. The principal of this school was short and fat. He had just reached middle dot age and already his face was full of wrinkles, but he always had a kind smile on his face. I can tell that you're all dragons and phoenixes among men. Your future is bound to be immeasurable. The principal looked at the outstanding students in front of him and laughed in satisfaction. Today is Saturday, and it should be your rest day, so I won't waste your time. Let's make it short. I've already explained the entire examination process in the conference room last time. I won't go into detail about that yet. The school assessment is in a week's time, you don't have to participate as echelon students. However, a month from now, when you're facing the state assessment, you'll have to fight with the top students from other schools. At this point, the principal's face instantly turned serious. You may be among the top ten in this entire school, but in the entire city, there are as many people stronger than you as there are hairs on an ox. The state assessment is the place where countless beastmasters will lose. After saying this, the principal looked at them with a serious face. In order for you to pass the exam, you will have to come to this place every Saturday for a special training session. This is to ensure that everyone's cultivation will improve before the state assessment. After saying this, the principal took out a bunch of colorful keys and waved them in front of everyone. Do you see this? These are keys to special cultivation rooms. They have more resources than ordinary cultivation rooms and can increase your cultivation speed faster. Upon hearing this, the eyes of the few students present were filled with desire. It was every beastmaster's dream to have a special cultivation room that could increase their cultivation speed. And this opportunity was placed right in front of everyone. However, although they're all special cultivation rooms, the level of the cultivation rooms are different. This golden key is the key to the best special cultivation room, and I'll also give it to the best student here. After saying that, the principal took the initiative to hand a golden key to Shen Fei in front of everyone. Immediately, the surrounding people looked at Shen Fei with envious eyes. Shen Fei, since your performance is the most outstanding among these people, I have decided to award this golden key to you. This is the position you deserve. Thank you, Principal. Shen Fei was immediately overjoyed. With this special cultivation room, he would be able to advance to a new Beastmaster in three days at most. However, at this moment, a voice of opposition came from behind Shen Fei. Principal, I don't agree. The second echelon student pushed his glasses and took the initiative to provoke Shen Fei. He's just an F. Class trash. What right does he have to occupy the spot with the fastest cultivation speed? 12s.